At some point, every cook is going to meet their grater. And I want to make sure that when you do, it's the right one. We have eight different models. The price range was $9.50 to $36. And we tested them just on the large coarse grating holes using soft cheese, hard cheese, carrots, and potatoes. There are a couple of different styles that you can see. These two are paddle graters, which you can actually put right over a bowl if you want. This one is a two-sided grater with coarse on one side, fine on the other. And the rest of that familiar box grater form factor that everybody knows. When the graters are manufactured, the teeth are put into the metal in one of two ways. They are either etched in through a chemical process or they are stamped in through a physical process. And in our test, the testers all gravitated towards the teeth that were stamped for two reasons. Number one, they were a little more prominent. And number two, there was more clearance for the food shreds to fall through. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is the size of the grating surface. Some of them were longer, some of them were shorter. This one, for instance, is about six and a half inches. That provided plenty of space to complete your strokes and get nice, neat, efficient grating. This one, on the other hand, the grating plane was just three and three quarter inches. Testers had a hard time finishing the strokes and that would leave shreds of food hanging off whatever it was that they were grating. A bunch of the testers gravitated towards the box style graders because they were stable on the work surface. And part of that equation was these rubberized bases that just helped them sit really securely as well as their form factor. One of the paddle style graders had rubber tips over the feet so that that would be secure on the work surface also. Testers also liked handles that were a little bit chunkier, easier to hold on to with a rubberized material covering them. So in the name of different strokes for different folks, we have winners in two of the categories. If you're the sort who likes a paddle style grader because it's easier to clean and a little more flexible in terms of positioning, Rustly Coarse Grater is your winner. It's $36. If you prefer a box style grater because it contains the shreds and it's super stable on the work surface, Cuisinart Box Grater is $12. Both of them have great sharp stamped teeth. They're both stable on the work surface and easy to hold. Both of them do a great job. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>